In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add lower thirds in Premiere Pro from Motion Array to any project that you're working on. So as you can see in our timeline here, I'm working on a three and a half minute video. Uh, this is a promo video for an event, a fundraiser. Um, and we want to add lower third titles to the bottom left corner, kind of for the guest speakers, um, for the location, etc. So I'm going to hop over to motionarray.com. I am here under the motion graphics templates. So with the current version of motion array, it's just dash browse dash motion graphics templates or coming up to templates and clicking on motion graphics. Now you can add lower thirds that are Premiere Pro templates, After Effects templates, etc. Motion graphics, if your computer is fast enough, can be very easy because you can just type in your text and it does all the animation for you. You don't need to export, render anything else. All right. So here, when I'm in motion graphics, let's go ahead and type um, lower thirds and you can browse a variety of different titles. You can also check this box here on the left corner um, for lower thirds and you can search, for example, like neon, simple, clean. I want to keep things as simple and as clean as possible. So I'm going to be downloading this elegant titles motion graphics template so what you can do is you can click on it if you'd like the reason i do this is because it will show you related motion graphics templates and you might like one of them slightly better uh, but you don't have to click on it you can download it from the previous screen as well we're going to go ahead and click download now just a side note you do want to make sure that it says no plugins here um, that is very important most motion graphics templates won't have any plugins but if you do happen to need something from, you know, Red Giant, or you need some sort of plugin that the motion graphics isn't going to be able to work without, then you're going to have trouble actually following along with this tutorial. So make sure that there's no plugins. This downloaded to my downloads folder. You're going to want to go ahead, save it, you know, to wherever you want to and extract it. Okay. So as you can see, it's no longer a zipped file. I just right click look for extract or unzip depending on the version of windows you're running then we're ready to open up and import it into premiere pro so as you can see we want to go up to window and make sure that you have your essential graphics panel checked so that it pops up here if we search for elegant okay elegant we're not going to find anything um, because we haven't imported this preset yet so you want to go ahead and click install motion graphics template in the bottom right corner. Then you want to locate, open up your folder, looking inside the motion graphics template folder. And it's actually nine titles in this case that we want to import so we can see which one we want to use. So I'm going to go through, I'll show you how to import all of these together in a separate tutorial, but I'm just going to go through and go ahead and open them by clicking this icon in the bottom right corner. All right, if you happen to, you know, import it and you already have it, it's just gonna say, you know, this file already exists. You can press confirm to overwrite and let's import the rest of these. All right, so once they're imported, we should be able to search for elegant again. And now we have all of these titles that we have already you know, decided that we want to use. Okay. So it's just a matter of then dragging and dropping in, you know, each specific template and choosing one that you, you know, actually like, and that you want to use. So you can come up by after clicking on it to the effects control panel, we can move it around here. Um, and actually, you know, it's important to watch it and preview it first. Okay, so you can see it's just very simple. It animates in. After choosing that that's the one you want, you can click on it to highlight it, and then you can change the text, right? All right, you can put whatever text you want, okay? So that's how you're gonna add motion graphics templates. If this was helpful, please like this video. Let me know if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below, and we'll be back with more simple, quick tutorials for you. Check out the Premiere Pro playlist if you're working in Premiere Pro. We've got almost 100 simple, quick tutorials, um, so you can get better in Premiere Pro.